Welcome to The Line, a revolutionary $1 trillion project taking place in Saudi Arabia that is set to revolutionize urban living. Imagine a city where pollution is a thing of the past and nature thrives, where state-of-the-art technology coexists with the beauty of the earth. Get ready to be amazed as we take you on a journey to discover the incredible possibilities of The Line. Welcome to the Design Zip channel and please subscribe for more videos like this. The plan for the line was announced on 10th of January 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, or MBS, in a presentation that was broadcast on state television. The line is basically made up of two parallel gigantic skyscrapers that are connected. It has a mirrored exterior that it contains a completely self-contained city that is 546 yards tall, 218 yards wide, and a whopping 105 miles long. The Lion City will start at the coast of the Gulf of Aqba in the Red Sea and extend into the country, slicing through mountains and desert terrain. Construction actually began in October 2022 and Saudi Arabia says the line will be completed in 2030. Satellite imagery has unveiled the extent of the project's advancement, the dimensions of the city in terms of length and the layout of the construction site. Based on the information from these images, it is predicted that a minimum of 425 excavation vehicles are excavating the city's footprint with an estimated total of 1.7 million cubic meters of rock and sand being removed from this site alone. The city will house 9 million people and perhaps the most exciting aspect of the line is that it will be a city built for people, not cars. It will be completely car free with transportation powered by renewable energy sources such as electric buses, metro and monorail allowing for faster and more efficient transportation. The line will also have a unique high-speed railway that will be able to move people and goods at speeds of over 600 miles per hour. With a population density of around 400 people per square mile, the line will be designed to foster a sense of community and connection among its residents. The city will feature a wide range of housing options, from affordable apartments to luxury villas all designed to maximize natural light and provide access to green spaces. Imagine walking or biking to work surrounded by lush greenery and natural beauty. The city will also feature a wide range of community spaces, from parks and playgrounds to sports stadiums and community gardens. The Lion's modular design guarantees that all amenities and facilities can be reached within a five minute walk. Why would Saudi Arabia want to build such a crazy and expensive project? There are several reasons why Saudi Arabia and its leader MBS would want to build the line. One reason is that it would diversify the country's economy, which is heavily reliant on oil. Additionally, the project would help to ease the pressure on existing cities in Saudi Arabia, which are facing challenges such as congestion and a lack of affordable housing. MBS has also outlined the project as a way to drive the country's Vision 2030 plan, which aims to modernize and diversify the kingdom's economy and make it more attractive to foreign investors. The line will also be home to cutting-edge technology and innovation, with the goal of creating a city that's not just sustainable, but regenerative. From vertical farms to autonomous transportation, the line will be a city of the future. The city will utilize advanced data analytics and AI technologies to monitor and optimize all aspects of the city, from energy consumption to waste management. It will also be equipped with 5G networks and IoT devices to enable smart city services and enhance the overall quality of life for its residents. The line will also have a significant economic impact projected to generate $100 billion in annual revenues and create up to half a million jobs by 2030. The city is expected to attract investment from a variety of industries, including technology, renewable energy, and real estate, 
The line will also serve as a major tourist destination, drawing visitors from around the world to experience its unique blend of technology, sustainability and community. However, the line also faces some controversies. Let's take a closer look. First, there are concerns about the environmental impact of the line. The construction of a 105 mile long city in the desert will have a significant impact on the ecosystem and the wildlife that lives there. It is said the project would have a carbon footprint of about 1.8 gigatons of CO2, equivalent in the glass, steel and concrete. Additionally, the use of renewable energy sources and sustainable urban planning may not be enough to fully offset the environmental impact of such a large-scale development. Another concern is the cost of the project. The line is a large and expensive undertaking and the estimated building cost is between $100 to $200 billion, with some estimates as high as $1 trillion. There are also doubts about the ability of the project to generate the projected 100 billion in annual revenues and create the half a million jobs by 2030. There are also political and social issues to consider. The project is located in the Neom region, which is a highly sensitive area from a political and social point of view. In October 2022, two leaders from a local tribe were allegedly sentenced to death when they refused to vacate their village as part of the Neom mega project. There are more concerns about the displacement of local residents and the potential impact on the region's culture and heritage. Another issue is the human rights record of Saudi Arabia has been widely criticised. This raises concerns about the labour rights of workers involved in the construction of the city and the rights of residents in the future. With all that being said, the line is a shining example of what's possible when we think beyond traditional urban planning. It's a city where technology, sustainability and human connection come together to create a brighter future for us all. But do you think it's even possible? The line is a city that's not only livable but regenerative. A city that will serve as a model for other cities around the world to follow. The line is not just a city, it's a destination. A place where the future is now, and we can't wait to see it come to life. What do you think about the line? Let us know in the comments. And remember to subscribe to see more great videos like this.